Hello guys, now we are in Krai Bi, Thailand and today we are moving to Vietnam. I will go there the first time, so let's go together. or hello from Vietnam. Right now I am on the roof of the building where we are writing an apartment and enjoying this amazing view of Danhan city. The weather is nice, it's sunny and it's very beautiful here. And this beach called Mai Khe Beach, it's a more calm area in Danhan city. So we choose to live here. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my first impression of Vietnam and Da Nang City, what I like about it and what is a bit annoying and what I didn't expect to see. So let's explore this beautiful country together. Every time you change countries after living there for two and more months and you get used to that way of life, in the new country you start a different kind of life, where everything is new for you, new people, new culture, new rules, habits and tradition. You start to gain a completely new experience and it's very interesting for me. I lived in Thailand for half a year and in China for five years. Now I'm starting a new journey of life in Vietnam. So when you come from Thailand where almost everyone wears a smile, at the first glance Vietnam's people seem to be a bit more serious. However, afterwards when you try to communicate with them, they are open, super kind and friendly and try to help you if you have any problems. The second thing that I noticed is despite many foreigners coming to their country, very few people can speak English. In this case, thanks Google Translator is existing. What about currency rate? In Vietnam you can become a millionaire, even if you have just $100 in your pocket, because 1 USD is about 23,000 dons. Therefore you need to engage your brain to convert into the currency you are familiar with. But it's good exercise for your brain, if you don't use calculator as I do. In any case, after about 2 days you will get used to it. But the other thing that I noticed and I was pleasantly surprised, as I mentioned earlier, I was living in China for five years and I assume that most of Asian people prefer to drink green tea. However, in Vietnam the coffee industry is well developed and there are many cafes with variety of nice and different types of coffee. Each cafe has its own unique atmosphere. And I was pleased to discover it and not pleased at the same time because I want to minimize to drink coffee but there are so many nice places so now it's even more difficult to do it. I was also surprised to find that in Vietnam it's common to eat a bread or baguette, which is really tasty. In contrast, in China it was really difficult to find a good bread and some types of bread can be stored for a year without spoiling, which is really strange. However, in Vietnam you can find good bread in every supermarket. I think this tradition comes from Vietnam's French colonial history. The last aspect that I have noticed that drivers are always beeping. I'm not sure why they do it, but in the crowded and busy street it really gets on your nerves. The traffic on the road is insane and it seems there are no rules at all. And somebody even don't care about traffic light. In general, I like Vietnam. There is a simple and slow life here. All of this makes me feel very comfortable, like I'm at home. What about Da Nang? The city has a beautiful landscape with mountains around. There are many modern and beautiful buildings decorated with natural green. And there are trees on the streets that provide shade and make the atmosphere cozy and comfortable. In general, the city is quite clean, although you may still see some garbage on the street or on the beach, but on average it's clean. There are many activities and shops around, and I will definitely explore it. The beach is very long, with places for walking and jogging, and it's equipped with showers and water tubs, so you can wash yourself after being in the sea water. And there are also restaurants, small cute food trucks, and toilet around, so there's everything for enjoying your time on the beach. 
The sea is a bit wavy and some people even try to shore, but I think the waves are too small here to enjoy surfing. Maybe because now it's May, so it's not the season for that. The city becomes even more beautiful at night when everything lights up. This was my first impression of Vietnam and I'm going to explore this wonderful country from south to north and its beautiful culture. So please like and subscribe and see you soon.